I just got past all the truck stops here on the east end of Amarillo and then got the uh, US 27 southbound coming up really soon. Mm -hmm. The next exit, X78, I think is the exit. Yeah, That's my 287 southbound now. Got two exits to go. Kids can change the world when they're full. Say so. Right. I saw there was 65 zone on the other side, so it should be at least 65 here. I know it doesn't really pick up to 75 until a little further over though. Alright, last exit remaining FM 191 to 1912, exit 81. be the end of my time on the interstate. At least that eastbound. Right shoulder right next to my exit, right? Looks like it's abandoned anyway. Northbound on the 1912. Yeah, they're making progress on redoing this place. Making it a lot bigger, it looks like. That's cool. It looks like it's new ownership, too, or, or something. So definitely a lot of change in there from uh, last time I spent. Uh, park there. Alright, 65 zone through here. I'm gonna come up on US 60 up here in a bit. Yeah. 
2575 crossing here. And you can see a Tyson plant up ahead on the right side. I'll go on cross over US 60 to get to it. chicken company, but this particular plant here is a beef plant. I also have some other places that are important. Alright, come up here all the way to the end of the road at the stop sign and then I'm going to turn right. Gate one right here. This is where the bull haulers bring the freight in, though. So I got a line of about four or five trucks trying to get in. Like plus uh what the hell is it? Like a flatbed straight truck. With, uh, reach on it. All in line to get in. Alright, gonna have the tandems all the way back before you go into the line. So while I'm waiting uh, while I'm waiting in line here, I'm gonna go ahead and slide the tandems back. I also don't want you blocking the driveway over here where the where the employees park or some of the employees park their cars. Twenty fourth, I believe, right? Oh, no, we'll yeah. see you tomorrow. Yeah, I already 
coming over your house to eat, but okay, I'll see you in the morning. Alright, at 1700. Exactly when I said I'd be here, right around 1700. Cody, you have a reload already? Yeah, you're you're picking up and uh, you're picking up that from that shipper that keeps bugging you every hour. Well, are you on time? Are you on time? I'll be right here, but he's trying to knock me over too. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. Something leaking over there. Ah. Raider Express is playing monkey see, monkey do. Saw him eat slide my tent, so now he's sliding his. <laughs> DM told me to reject their call. Yeah, I don't blame them. They shouldn't be calling you anyway. Pickup info. Yeah, this the Tyson plans usually you have uh, get out of here. I have holes in my windows now because these damn flies. They usually have uh, pickup numbers that start with the number 500, but this one particularly looks a bit different. Yeah, and I do remember it's only. Yeah. Uh, I think they only care about the first four of the BOL number. the only two numbers I have here it's yeah I'm pretty sure it's only like the first four of the eight digit BOL all they all the input into their computer to uh, get my load information So I'm coming in dirty because they have their own loss rack here and we have an account with them basically and they just charge us for whatever trailers we bring in to wash. And they do have a bullpen area right here, as, yeah, if, you might, if you want to call it that, or a staging area. Right here just outside the guard shack on the left side. Bob Tell parking if you uh, want to wait. Ow. 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 Things that people do to put to get attention. one up, I might as well put my vest on because
this it next time I get to a trash can. I could always play that song again. <laughs> I'm trying to have at least a video footage, some kind of video that'll actually I, that I can keep on the on the channel. Because I mean, it's, uh, that Lords of Acid song I had on earlier, it's kind of coming to mind. All right, you want to make pussy cat sounds? I'll, I'll play the pussy song. Cute little high reach. Does that thing even go 30 feet off the ground? I think it's small. Looks like a JLG based on the color, or no, S80, whatever. Yeah, JLGs, I think, are usually orange. I used to use those on aircraft, but uh, bigger. Yeah, our, our, the ones we used were usually 80 footers. Does this guy not see the stop here sign? Do not block parking entrances. Freaking jackass. The reason why that sign's there, dipshit. the driveway you dumbass see these workers trying to come into the lot and park that means I don't proceed from here until I can get past uh, I get to where Snyder is right now said 10 to the 2nd times 10 to the 7th? Yeah, I just add the exponents. So it'll be 10, so it'll be 10 to the 9th. Is that, 
is that 10 to the 10 cubed plus uh, 10 cubed times 10 to the fourth? What? I, I, I. Okay, you're, you're talking about the bottom part, right? All right. So, and it says what? Ten times three to the fourth power. That's it. That, okay, three to the fourth is eighty-one. Yeah, that's right. Ten to the eighth divided by three to the fourth, and then whatever else you had after three to the fourth. Then, yeah, it's 10 to the 8th over, basically, over 81. multiply. So it'll be, yeah, 10 to the 21st. I sure was the motivator swing. Okay, um, yeah, I'm, I'm at my shipper right now, so I might be busy. Okay. Alright, let me see. Linda, in Eli, Nevada, heading for Portland, okay. Eli? Which route are you taking? You going up like 93 or 95 or something? Freaking house thing on the right side now. I don't, I've never used that before. I've always used this. Uh, must be talking about Raider Express blocking the driveways. flatbed street truck in front of me did the same thing. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? I remember my first time coming here too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Messed up, I went 93, okay. <laughs> All what kills me is one, two, Five sides. <laughs> right, I mean, and the last one's right there, right in front of that driveway, too. They're all five, right here. I mean, I don't know, I don't, what the hell?
sound good, whatever you said. As expected, load is not ready yet. Um, it's got a drop dead of uh, I think seven or whatever it is tomorrow morning. So that's all right. That's why I wanted to be here. Come on, drop and hook. Yeah, I wanted to get here, get the trailer dropped, and on a 10-hour break. That way I could uh, have a fresh 14 to run on or to leave here with whenever it's ready and I can uh, get some good miles out of it tomorrow. south side of this building here on the left and that's the wash rack. Set more nicely. Gotta get over there 
there fast enough? I don't know. Yeah, I might have just enough there. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not completely straight, but it'll work. Okay, uh, yeah, I forgot the. Is that I have the doors open before I bumped the dock? I, I can't remember if I opened them up from uh, before I bump or after. I'm always not going to square up my trailer. So that shadow disappeared, thinking I'm about to hit the dock. And I still got like a few, like a few more feet to go. All right, driver has to be outside the tray, uh, outside the truck when it's washing out, or at least that's how it used to be.
good. And they're super fast with the washouts here. Of course, they don't use a pressure washer. It's more like a high-powered hose and gets a lot more stuff out fast, I think. Alright, now I'll be dropping my empty. Uh, I'm gonna get over here and close my doors. Just doesn't matter what status they use. I get in a spot where I'm at least kind of out of the way in case a spotter wants to come through or somebody else. spot right there but it's not a good place to set up well I, mean, I could do a you can put a u-turn but what's the fun of that and I can always get some back footage with the tandems all the way back for people who want to could use help on that I do see a spot right over here I could probably put it in Yeah, this looks good right here. All right, so two spots passed. I'll pick this white transportation truck trailer here as my target. Starting to get close over there, and I was pointing a little bit at it. So, yeah, and that's why I was being cautious there. All right, how about you get out of my truck, Floyd?
get in the tight end of this way. Watching for zero. Uh, actually, I can just PC over to the bullpen. Yeah, I can either PC over to the bullpen or to the truck stop. Just hang out over here. I don't know. I'm not in the uh, side. Oh, of course, Raider Express went for that one. I went for one that I get good, good backing footage with the tandems all the way back for. That's always useful stuff for people who are trying to improve their backing skills. Good PC back over to the truck stop. I'm gonna have better like, restrooms and all that around. Get my info. He didn't get my phone number down, but I can always check later. It's not a big deal. I'm making. go over to the uh, Flying J, it's closer, and 
Although I do tend to like stopping at TA. I don't know why, I just do. for bobtail parking and the it's usually you want to park your bobtail on the forward or not if you can but not take up spaces that people with trailers need and have little access to Disappear. 
Maybe it flew out while I was not paying attention. When I was paying attention to the road, maybe they flew out, I don't know. It'd be great, but odds are they probably went back into my sleeper area and start pestering me while I'm parked. Kill this driver. You can also park at Petro as well. It's only one extra exit down and I don't know, I usually do uh, do go for flying J. I'm not not like I need to eat anything anyway, because I already had her uh, food earlier. Flying J not a bad spot because they got the uh, Buffalo Wild Wings right across the street. Yeah, and there's this place right here, it's Hannah Travel Plaza. Never actually bothered to stop there though. I think if you're gonna drive that way, I guess you're not even doing the speed limit, dude. You gotta consider getting out of that lane. Flying J, it's right here anyway. Fox Freight would be parked like that. Yeah, there's these spots here are not very wide, so probably avoid parking there for that reason. Not to mention there are enough cars in the parking lot too. right there in the
right there at the front of their the lot where that Jeep with the trailer is at. But uh, I'll go ahead and just put it over here somewhere. Now I'm getting away from. I thought about parking right over here, but these guys just reminded me why I don't think I want to do that. Is there a bump zone area? I think so. I think so. Nothing yeah. worse than when they come in, you, you know yeah, yourself, you come in with a tractor. Yeah, I didn't. The bump, bump tail parked in the spot. Fucking yesterday was it? the one in, uh, uh, just outside of Houston. Fuck, it must have been at least 14 fucking bump tails in fucking parking spots. Oh, you gotta see the flying jail from Fontana. Oh, fuck, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't, I don't like parking on this side for that reason. And uh, I was try, I was eyeballing the spots over in the four wheel area. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure there's spots over there. But if not, fuck, I mean. Yeah, I'll take a look around. Find yourself, I, a, like, yourself a little cubbyhole. Yeah, because I usually I, always I'd come here with the, the trailer. Would appreciate it. Oh, yeah. You know yourself, you would too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't, that's why I don't like to park in these spots. I'm not spots telling you what to do, but, you know, it's just a suggestion. Yeah, well, the main, yeah, like I said, I usually try to go for the four wheeler side. Yeah, yeah. But. Well, where's your fucking trailer? Oh, I already dropped it at my shipper. Oh, jeez, so you pick it up tomorrow morning? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just pick better, it up over here at Tyson. Better than waiting there, right? Oh, yeah, and then have all the flies around there. Right, uh, so I, uh, I picked up my load of cats this morning at 5 o'clock. Nobody around, no traffic. Fucking, they loaded me in 45 minutes. I was out of Houston. Not a problem. Nice. Fuck, that's what, that was nice. Houston up to here, it's, that's a, I mean, that's a decent day. Yeah, I, I don't know what the miles are, but yeah, I'm pretty good. Well, I know from Fort Worth to here is about 310 or so, three, somewhere around there. Yeah, so I, I did, I did probably did about almost 600. Yeah, I would say probably get 600 days at least. Yeah, that's just fun. Plus 70 clicks all the way. My truck will only do 70 miles an hour. Oh, same here. 70 miles an hour all the fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> and right. I'm trying on some new antennas. What's with the coils around it for my oh. CV? Which one did you get? Like a, one of the Wilsons or something else? Yeah, I think they're Wilsons. Oh, okay. What's with the coils around them? Yeah. Yeah. I thought about using those too because I mean, I've been running this. Yeah. I, I, well, because I've got a cheap radio, right? I'm going to need something to catch the wattage. You know, push out the wattage, right, so I can hear further. Yeah. Because right now, I probably have a truck that's just passing me, that's all I hear. <laughs> I've been, now this one, the way I have it, because I have a mounted like that, so it doesn't beat up on the, doesn't beat up on the side of my, tr uh, my truck, but, uh, you know, because when I have winds hitting it, it'll, you know, be a little bit more upright. Yeah, I had mine like that too. But mine are mounted right in the mirror, right? So the, the wiring and everything's right there. Yeah. Instead of me starting with the new wiring, the the, the, uh, the regular wiring is there, right? It's all yeah. It's all um, grounded and everything. So. All right. Yeah, this one, I, my my up in front of me range is not the greatest. Yeah. I mean, I you know, I get a couple, maybe a couple mile range out of it, which is usually enough. Yeah. Well, I, I've got a, I've also got a VHF, right? Well, I use that. I use that. I use that in Canada. You a hammer? No, oh. no, it's just a VHF. Yeah, I don't have a license for it. It's just a VHF. I got something like 136 channels on it. But I could be in Canada, in the mountains, talk to somebody 20 oh, kilometers away. Oh, yeah. Well, that's wait, That's VHF low or VHF high? VHF high. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so I mean, you need that in Canada. A lot of mountains, right? Yeah. And with CBs. 
what's the range with the CB? Not much. No, not much. You don't have much power. So the VHFs are uh, pretty, 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 pretty dead strong. I mean, the, the frequency range that CB runs off of is low enough where you can get some, you can get some distance out of them if you have the power for them, but yeah, you know, you're not enough output power on them. Well, when you get over there, what's your name, by the way? Scott. Scott? Rick. Rick. What I'm going to do is once I get my antenna up there, have you on channel that. Uh, channel one, because I can test this on one also, right? All right. So I try to reach you, Scott. Yeah, I'll put it on. Once you're over there, right? If it can find the spot. Yeah, it's. So you know, it's funny. I'm never even over on that side of the lot. I'm always here with the trailer, and I'm always in this side. Of the lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why I parked here. I'm glad I'm early. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's hard to find. I usually like parking right over in that area, so it's. I don't I mean any of the spots here are easy for me to get into, but yeah, well, this is easy to get out too, right? Yeah. Nobody in front of you. Um. They're yeah, going. wait till you leave. Well, if they if they're parked there, fucking move your tractor. Move your yeah. Move. Because I've had a lot of times where I'm here and there's a truck parked right there. Yeah. Wake them up in the fucking morning. Yeah. Period. So if I, but if I'm over in the middle area, yeah, yeah. If, if I can't get it turned this direction because of them, no problem. I'll go over that way and flip it and do a U-turn there and come back out yeah. and, uh, and on, you know, on top of that, people in the spots next to me, if they try to back in, if I get a rookie or something, at least there's a little bit less chance of getting hit. Well, I've been lucky. I haven't gotten hit by anybody yet. Yeah. And that's not my trailer normal trailer but it was a brand new one and the new driver went banged the fucking thing right there it wasn't even three days old oh come on so he got 10 that, that would drive me nuts there yeah, yeah. and the guy's been driving for i don't know how many years yeah i remember yeah i was at a loves i don't remember if it was one up here in dumas or a different one i was parked in where the you know basically facing the building and there was another guy two spots over from me. And then there was a C, uh, what, one of the CFIs or whatever. Yeah. CTI. CFI, yeah. Yeah, one of those two. Yeah. I'm trying to park over on the other side of the other guy. And it was a straight back. He still almost hit him. <laughs> I, heard, I heard the C, uh, the other guy two spots over blowing his air horn at him. And oh, yeah, I like standing outside watching these people trying to back right? in. It's kind of hilarious. Right? I didn't make it, it make it more nerve-wracking. He decided to change his mind and instead of going for the spot where he was there going was, for it, yeah. he goes into the spot right between us. Like, no! Oh, <laughs> get away from me! That's crazy. You it? can't even straighten back your truck. You get the hell away from me. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah, I mean, I'm all, I'm all for helping other drivers if yeah. they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. But right. yeah, straight back, come on. Why are you, you shouldn't have even gotten out of CDL school if you can't straight back. Yeah, well, I used to uh, pull Super Bs. And uh, it took me about, I guess a full day to learn how to back those things up. But uh, once I got it, I mean, you're able to, if you know the trick to it, you can back up into spots like this pretty fucking easy. I heard someone say that with those, uh, I guess as soon as you start to see the front end of the second yeah, the trailer. Yeah, the front end is the one that's going to tell you where the back end exactly is going to go. Yeah, so yeah. as soon as you start to see the front end, you've turned one yeah. way. To the, the, the back of the front trailer, that guides your rear end. Yeah. So the back goes that way, the, like the front trailer is going that way, your back trailer is going to go that way. Yeah. If the trailer is going to go that way, it's going to go this, that way, and it's going to go that way. That's a pain in the ass, it's, man. It's, yeah. Once you, once you got it, it's, it's easy. Yeah, you got like three pivot points there. and Yeah, because there's only, there's only one. It's not like a, 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 a C train or an A train. A train's not too bad because you got two hooks. But a C train, you've got the one hook, and then you've got your, your, your fifth wheel, and then you've got your trailer. But you still have a pivot point where it's going to come to your back and you the tractor yeah. or the trailer. you got your trailer on, on the fifth wheel, got your hook with the a frame frame on it, then you got a pivot point on there. Those are impossible. Yeah. That's it. Most people can't do it. No. No. They can't even, you, they're leaving with just regular You doubles. got them on hook and back them in separately. Yeah, exactly. And that can be a pain. 
Alright. <laughs> Alright, man. Well, I'm gonna get. Let's I see if there's. I'm gonna try in the radio here I'll in a bit. Alright. fan of parking over on this area anyway, but I don't know that this lot has an actual bobtail area. Take a look, I don't see any parking. There's a bobtail right over here, a couple of spots from now, uh, right here to my left, but... Always trying to go for that uh, the, that area in the four wheeler lot too. Nah, they don't have bob tiller area here. I didn't think there was. Get out of my track, you stupid fly! by my phone but I'm trying to get him to never wants to hang out where I need him to when I want to kill him or chew him away or something stupid fly <laughs> all right so I said I'm uh, I'm going to do a 10 hour break here and I wasn't expecting although to be ready until tomorrow morning anyway. I don't have, uh, what time's my drop dead? It's some uh, 7 something in the morning I think. Yeah, 3.12 to 7, t uh, 12 is my window, uh, my normal window. If it's ready early, great, but I don't think it will be. I can do a, I can do a 10 hour break here and get rolling around four o'clock or so if, uh, if it's ready I'll just call them up and ask them about it and if it's uh, you know, hopefully it's ready by then and I get get it moving into uh, Arizona tomorrow and then have a well, let's see I gotta figure out what kind of ETM I'm gonna run though because I may or may not be able to stop and do a 10 hour break at my house before I go deliver. I'd like to do a 10 at the house so I can have a, a fresh clock to, to deliver with and then still have plenty of clock. Busy. Alright. Uh, enough clock to... Uh... Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Scott, you got... Yeah, I got you. You hear me? Oh, is that you, Scott? Yes, it is. Oh, you're looking at how am I coming in? Loud and clear. Yeah, you're coming in uh, round by 10. That's good. Excellent. Let's give it a shot on 19 here. 
Okay, I'm switching over. Are you there? Yeah, I got you. Oh shit, this is much better, man. Wait a minute. I'm gonna have to check that antenna out then. Oh, that's alright, I had to fall. There's mini antennas on here, that's why. Oh, okay. Yeah. Working over there? What's that? Now, if you're asking about bobtail, no, there are no bobtail spots here, unfortunately. So anyway, uh, let's see. Won't be long. Hey, Scott, you got a copy? Sure do. What's up? Anybody out there? You got a copy? Hey, it's Scott. What's up? Hello. Uh, he's not. He's not picking me up now. Yep. Quarter of an hour. All right. I don't know what's going on there. Anybody else there got a copy? Uh, uh, it's kind of hard to explain to get you, really. Just, just, yeah, Google, we'll come in. Somebody's got to be up there. Yeah, I got you. It sounds like that other ch uh, chatter in the area, too, though. Be getting stepped on or something. Because, uh, yeah, I'm hearing, you know, that or something else going on on his end. I don't know. Alright. Going to have a lot of fun when you get kidney done and you will say, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be really happy when, that, when you get to have that happen. Alright. Looks like I'm caught up on everything. Okay. So yeah, about four in the morning or something. Or if, uh, I might even get rolling earlier, like on an, uh, if I need our sleeper berth, if I find out the load's ready earlier. So yeah, I'll give them a call around two or so in the morning, and or you know, sometime early, and ask them how it's going. Uh, once I have at least eight hours of sleeper berth, so I still got six hours on my clock to work with. I can always. I can get the, the load picked up and get it moving past uh, uh, out past Albuquerque by the time I'm uh, Hello. by the time I uh, Anybody up there got a copy? I'm still picking you up. Okay, I'm just trying to adjust it here, just putting some new antennas. Yeah, I was picking you up the whole time earlier, but I think we we're getting uh, stepped on by some other chatter uh, on the interstate. Oh, uh, okay. Alright. Well, by the road, I'm going to have to get an external speaker. Yeah, those help a lot. I got one of mine. Yeah, I got one at home, but it's for my DHF. Alright. Alright, so anyway. Yeah, early in the morning. Hey, I'm going inside to wash up and cool off. Alright man, we'll take it easy. Uh, I'll be offline too myself. Did you find a spot? Yeah, I found a spot, but it's not a bobtail spot. That's uh, perfect. Yeah. Alright, Scott, thank you. Hey, hey, take it easy. Alright, um, that nah, guy's okay, Canadian. You probably picked up on the conversation we were having earlier. Okay, so, yeah, like I say, run uh, early tomorrow morning, central time, uh, whenever the load's ready at least. Yeah, at least I, I'm gonna plan on at least getting an eight hour sleep of birth before I go pick it up and get moving. Uh, even if it's ready sooner than that. Uh, so I'll just, you know, plan on early in the morning, get into, maybe get it somewhere into Arizona by the time I'm done driving tomorrow. And then, I should be able to run it from, let's assume it's on time, run it from Arizona over to my place, 
hopefully you have enough time to do a 10 hour break before I deliver. Um, speaking of delivery, I gotta double check what time it's due for delivery. 3 a.m. Okay, so yeah, that's an extra hour past what I was expecting. All right, so I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll fly in until then. Uh, thanks for hanging out and watching, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, tomorrow morning or something. You know, well, probably, well, might be the second half of the shift, might be the first, depending on what time I actually can pick the load up, right? So we'll see you guys sometime tomorrow, though, right? Thanks for watching.